the problem today in this materialistic world everyone looks at those above them and says i'm going to get there don't worry this guy made a million i'll show him i'll make 2 million it's okay to make it no problem but don't have that aim such that i'm in competition with someone i'll do my best and i definitely will try to earn with the intention of spending in the cause of allah That's very important. How much are you going to spend in your life? Ask yourself. A million? A billion? How much are you going to spend? We sit today and we look at the league of a few people who've crossed the net worth of a hundred billion, and you start thinking to yourself, is it really worth it? The other day they added a name. One day they subtract a name because they they count the cents and the dollars. You cross by one dollar, they quickly put your name. Subhanallah. Did it really earn you Jannah? Was it really a merit? How much are you going to spend of that? You won't even spend one full billion. You won't even spend one full billion. How much do you want? Hundred million? Fifty million? What are you going to do with it? Build your jannah. Spend it. Spend it in a good cause. Have people where you are helping. Good causes where you are helping. Assist here. Assist there. Give here. Give there. Look after your relatives and your family to begin with. That's what Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says. Charity begins at home. You start off with your relatives, then the next, then the next. Check who's poor, who needs, who's this, who's that. Give them, give them. And you know what? The Prophet Sallallahu tells us that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Anfiq ya bin Adam, unfiq alayh." Spend, O son of Adam, I'll spend on you. Allah Akbar. If you want increase, you got to give. It will increase. But if you want increase and you keep it and you're counting it, it's not going to increase. Inflation will eat it. Something else will eat it. Loss will eat it. Whatever else, you can't just count things. You have to take a few risks in life that are halal. You have to sometimes do something to the best of your ability. This is going to bring me a profit. You might enter it and it may not. You still say, "Alhamdulillah, I did it. I tried. Look, I'm still living. I'm surviving. I'm eating. We're all okay. We've got food. If need be, to downgrade your life, do not be ashamed to downgrade. Downgrade. No problem." You don't have to eat top expensive food every day. Some of the healthiest people are those who eat the cheapest food in terms of money, but it's the healthiest food in terms of nutrition. They say something strange about food. People love food. Some people live to eat. Have you noticed the unhealthiest of food is the tastiest of it? You ever thought of it? Think of it. Why? Perhaps Allah has a wisdom behind it to say, "Oh man, Do not indulge more than a certain amount. I'm going to make sure that this is going to be unhealthy for you beyond a certain threshold. Subhanallah. So that you realize that you know what goodness is for Jannah. This dunya have a little bit of it, taste it, thank Allah, and carry on. You you were created for the hereafter. You're going to go to the hereafter. If you end that verse, we read it in Surah As-Sajda. The verse says, "Wamimma razaqna hum yunfiqun." They are the ones who used to spend from what we gave them. Notice what I was speaking about just now. They are the ones who used to spend from what we gave them. Allah gave you. He gave you to eat. He gave you for your family. He gave you for your children. He gave you for your brothers and sisters, for whoever your relatives may be. He gave you. And after that, He's just going to watch. I'm going to throw at you one million times more than what you need. And I just want to watch. What are you going to do with it? Are you building your hereafter, or are you just going to stash it away until you die? The winners are those who build the hereafter. We sit and we watch wealthy people pass away. You can see the difference. Here's a man; he didn't do anything fi sabilillah, because he just gathered his money and counted it. A lot of the people who don't believe are like that, and sometimes even believers who believe in Allah they forget because they needed a reminder. And then you have another man, wealthy man, passes away. You can tell he drilled so many boreholes. He did so much of this. He did some. Masha Allah, good news to him. He packed away so much for Jannatul Firdaus. May Allah accept it from them and from all of us. May Allah motivate us and grant us the wealth in order that we can spend it for Sabeel.